What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to Shop Up a Baby P P P P P Keep Two. Uh, it's time for us to check out the early press preview. So we've got 60 minutes to play the game as far as we can and see what it's got on offer so that you can decide if this is something you want to check out. As far as I understand, Shopkeep 2 is actually planning on changing up the gameplay by quite a bit. You're actually going to be a character in the world, you're going to be able to adventure, you're going to be able to buy parts of the city like Fable style. It actually looks like a pretty broad increase in the scope of the game and I'm excited about it. So without further ado, uh, let's have a look at my character here. This is my character, Shuck a Shelf. Uh, we put a tattoo on him. There's a lot of customization options you can do in between like hairstyles and beards and you know all kinds of tattoos and stuff like that there's not a lot right now but how I know there's gonna be a lot is that when you go to the customization options at the moment there's lots and lots of tabs and stuff there's just nothing under them yet and so I presume that there's gonna be all kinds of cool things that you can do with your character once the game actually comes out but what we're interested in right now is single players let's go ahead and make ourselves a new shop I'm gonna go with the green shield right there Ooh, yeah, two gold dots right there. That sounds good. And then we've got like this dancing fancy man wolf right here who's like, Huzzah! I am fancy! I am dancing! Look at my hands! Everyone watch me as I lively dance in front of the fire. And then, I don't know what I want for a background. Probably nothing. That looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna call this guy Fancy Dance Wolf World. Fancy Dance Wolf World! Yay! Create our business. And so there it is. Fancy Dance Wolf World is finally created. So let's have a look at this little town that we're a part of. Uh, it wants me to unlock the sprint skill first by pressing Q. And so there it is. Let's unlock sprinting. Yay. Uh, it gave us $50. So now it wants us to purchase a pedestal from the furniture vendor in town. So over here, I think, is the furniture vendor. I don't know that for sure. I've run around a little bit before I started recording this just to get a rough idea of where everything was at because I knew that time was going to be of the essence. And we wanted to move quickly if we wanted to maximize our effectiveness. And so this guy right here, his name is Wadi Harold. What we got to do is we got to buy a pedestal. So there it is. We've got our first pedestal. So place displays in your shop. Okay, I think these are displays right here. I think pedestals count as displays if I remember the first game right. So the rough idea of how it works is that you have your shop, you put down pedestals and you put down cabinets and you put down stuff like that, and then you put things on top of them that your customers can peruse so that when they come in to buy stuff, uh, it actually is displayed. You don't just leave it on the floor or anything like that. No, 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 that would be dirty. And people don't like shopping for items off the floor, Ross. That's right, stop keeping your items on the floor, Ross. That's why I don't come to your shop. And so we can actually put these in wherever we want them. And so I'll probably just put them right here inside the doorway. Something is in the way. Okay, I'm going to put them right inside the doorway. I don't know how to rotate items just yet. I can rotate them with right click. See if I could read, that would help out. This is why I failed the SATs. And so we've got that right there. We've got that right there. Cool. And so they gave us 25 more. And so now it wants me to order items from my order scroll. I could do that from right here. We've got wooden shoes. I don't know why you would wear wooden shoes. That seems really uncomfortable. We also have water bottles. Those cost three. So let's go for something a little bit more high margin, I think. So we'll go with like two of those and two of those. And so our order will arrive, I think. I don't know if the order is delivered here or where the order is. It's at the management house. Okay, so the management house is right here. Inside the management house, as far as I can tell, we can like rearrange the city and we can do all kinds of random stuff. So that is our delivery right there. So now we've got things that we can put on these shelves. Let's go back inside very rapidly and it wants me to sell any item in order to advance further. I'm going to put you right... I don't know. My profit is zero. How do I adjust the price upwards on these? So let's say that I want it so it's left control. Okay. Yeah, let's make... Let's go for like six in profit on each of these. Sounds right. Uh, let's go ahead and place it. Is this one going to have the exact same price margin? So they're priced at M6. Is there a way for me to like do better right there? No, don't do that. Take that off the pedestal. That was a mistake. So let's say that I wanted to make more money off these. There we go. I don't think it actually shows the total value of the item. I think what it actively shows is what your profit is going to be from the item instead. Yeah, let's put those at 10 right there. I don't know if that's going to sell. It's just me gambling. Uh, this right here is a much lower margin item. And so let's just make like, I don't know, one off of it. 
I think that might be our only choice. So there we go. We've got those placed, and so it wants me to sell any item. I don't know how I open the shop right now. I legitimately have no idea how I open the shop for the day. I... we are closed. Maybe I click on the sign. There we go. I'm open now, and it's got like a little Monopoly man right there. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create a Monopoly where I win and can buy the universe and no one else can afford to compete. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, my movement has increased. I don't even know where I look at my skills and things like that. But I assume there's like a skills list around here somewhere. Is there? I don't know. Is this guy going to come into my shop? Hey, you, guy over there. Come inside my shop. Buy all of my things. You've got to sing like a, a merry shopkeep song outside. That's the only reason, that's the only way that they know that, you're, that you've got like a Disney-esque shop that they can shop inside of right now. I've got wooden shoes. Don't you want them? They'll give you calluses. They will definitely give you calluses. You should come on in here. That's right. I can see with your fancy with your fancy green hairstyle, you need a new pair of shoes. Uh, the game is going to have Twitch integration, in case you were wondering about that. Uh, so everybody in town will be named after your Twitch viewers and stuff like that. Hey! When selling items, all the funds will go to the accountant in the vault at the management house. Go over there to withdraw them and handle your taxes. Oh, that sucks. This is just like real life. I gotta pay taxes and everything? Damn, man. I know that feeling. I'm a YouTuber. I'm self-employed, man. That self-employment tax is no fun. That thing will get you. That thing will get you. Are you guys going to buy some stuff? Buy my things. When selling items, yeah, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Hey, they bought some shoes and stuff. Yay, are you going to buy my shoes? Buy my shoes. Goody. And so all the money's going to go over to the accountant. So now what we want to do is we'll be like, boom. We'll close off the shop so nobody messes with us anymore. I should probably buy a few more pedestals, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. So if all of our money goes to the accountant, what's up, accountant? Uh, my vault. How much money do you have for me? So, I'm gonna withdraw all of my money. Yeah, give me all of my cash. I made 22. I kind of feel like I should have made way more money than that. Maybe I sold all my stuff at half price, though. It's possible. I, I might have been reading it wrong. It's not really well explained. Pay any tax. Uh, do not deposit anything. In fact, get all of the money. So, I've got M100... Wait, I've got money from my Steam account? Why do you start out with so little money? This is kind of a terrifying situation to be in. Pay any tax. My fault. I don't see any taxes going on right now. I don't know where taxes are managed from. Interact with Sir Poshington. I don't know that he's got anything to show me right now. I don't know. I don't see any tax. That would explain why things sold so fast, though, if I undersold. That would make a lot of sense. So first item, management over here, days pass since opening, earned moons in total, 22, yeah, I just totally like bankrupted myself. Okay, that makes a whole lot of sense. So with tax control, I can pay taxes on things. Oh, it comes out of the vault. Okay, so in my M vault, deposit like $2, there you go. And then with the accountant, we'll pay our taxes right there on consumables. And we got 25 more moons. Yay! 25 moons for us. Let's go ahead and I'm going to dive straight on back into here. And instead, this time around, we're going to go with two pairs of shoes and like four water bottles. We're going to order those real fast. Those are going to get delivered. And I swear to God, this time we're not going to mess it up. Games with sliders, man. Games with sliders. Uh, there's something about reading a slider that just messes me up entirely. But yeah, this is like the earliest access game, or I'm sorry, the earliest access version of the game shopkeep that you're going to be able to see for a while. Let's run inside, and with our pedestals, are those busted up? I can fix those. There we go. Let's get our craftsmanship all nice and leveled up. Mm-hmm. Trying to get better at the crafty crafty. Perfect. And so with the shoes right here, instead this time around, what we want to try to do is we're going to go for like 120% profit right there. So the profit is 35. Let's go ahead and we will place that item. Does it carry over the price on those? It looks like it does. So that's perfect. And then for the water bottles, we're a little bit behind the eight ball, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll sell these for like seven. We'll see what happens right there. Seven moons for our water bottles. Now then, we need to open the store. So there it is. Open the shop. Don't open the shop, baby. Open the shop. Don't flip the shop. Oh my. All right. Everybody come in and shop inside of my shop. That is why it is called the shop. Aha! A lady doth enter the shop. 
Pretty, madam, sir. Is that a lady with a beard? I can't tell. It's a lady with a face tattoo. Buyeth my shoeseth. Aha! My shoeseth is his have been. I don't know how. So, my. How do you pluralize shoeseth? I don't know. I get confused when I play games like this. My shoeseth is his. Is, uh, you go up to seven right there, and we will place that item right there. I'm trying to sell off all my stock right now because I'm trying to get paid. I really don't like the fact that I have to pay taxes, though. That shit is terrifying. Like, what happens if we don't pay our taxes? Does, like, the IRS come in and just, like, bomp on us hella hard? I bet you they do. The IRS comes in with, like, AK-47s, just wipes out our entire shop and, like, pay what you owe. They reduce your shop to smithereens. That would suck, man. That'd be brutal, and it's not what I'm looking forward to. Do I have anything to broometh right now? It doesn't look like I have anything to broometh. Buyeth my shoes at this is. There you go inside of my shop. Up a baby, baby, baby. And we gotta wait for these water bottles to sell. We got one more guy coming right now. And so I think. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave. Will they steal if I'm not inside the shop? I'm gonna go get my money. I'm gonna go get my money like right now. About my money. Accountant, what you got for me in the vault? Yup, a little bit more money. That's what I'm talking about. We got 120 right now. Let's go back to the shop, and while he's inside of here... Did that guy try to steal from me? Hit him with a hammer. He did. He tried to steal from me. Hit him with a hammer. Dude, he totally just stole from me. How do I hit his ass with a hammer? Oh, so you actually gotta watch the shop. So that dude just booked out, and he's leaning kind of to the side. Those shoes were heavier than he expected. Okay. So you've actively gotta close the shop. Otherwise, people will steal from you. I got you. So in the first shop of beep, 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 keep, some people were just thieves and some people were not. And so that's why I figured I could leave the shop for a second to order new items. Is because this early in the game, they wouldn't throw thieves at me. Did I deposit all of my money? I think I must have. Withdraw all of my gilder. There we go. Let me get all my gilder. And then for right now with my moons, I think I'm just going to order a bunch of shoes. And we'll just go for high margin items right now. That's what I'm talking about. Order four shoes. We gotta make money about as fast as possible. Sir Poshington has a little shop quest for us. There goes the chest right there. We got four shoes. What do you have? Uh, cook something and then water delivery. Deliver water bottles to doors. Okay. How do I deliver water bottles to doors? Is that something that I need to do like right now? Yeah, I guess I can only afford a couple water bottles. So I'm going to have to sell some more stock before that quest is going to become something that we can actively get done. Let's open up the shop so that people start coming over here. And then our prices need to be... Let's go with 140% markup on those. I'm trying to make money right now. So that's been placed at 41. I'm trying to make some money right now. And so there we go. I don't know if people are going to come at night... Somehow, I sincerely doubt it, but we can give it a shot. It looks like somebody's coming. We'll wait for him to get closer. Come closer, boot-buying individual. I have the fanciest boots for you. Aha, a first customer wearing a mushroom on his head. Come forth and buy shoes, mushroom man. I give them up to you. You and the stitches on the back of your halberk. Which is much better than a Wyberk. A Hauberk is the scientific version. A Wyberk is also scientific, but then there's like the Whatberk, and the Whatberk just sits there and just accepts things at face value like, well, it must be magic. And there it is. So you, go and buy my stuff. I'm poor. I'm poor and I need your money. Apparently that was a great purchase. Close off the store real fast. Close off the stow. So how do I deliver water to people's houses? Like, how does that happen? So this guy gave me a quest for water delivery. Do I have, like, a quest tab around here or something like that? So with the order scroll, uh, that doesn't look like what we're looking at right now. We've got our inventory. Our skills list. I don't know. So what's up with this quest right here? So with the quest that you just gave me, low-level customers like their consumables, unlock them. Unlock the cook via the town management and craft something from him. Okay. What is that going to cost me? So with town management right here, uh, we have the management house, we have the cook. That's $175, though. I'm a little too broke for that. I can't afford that right now. Inside of my vault, give me der monies. There it is. So we've got our money. I assume that I'm going to have to pay taxes at some point. That's the really horrifying part about this whole thing. I hate tax season so much. Tax season is the worst. Uh, we've got 145 We made enough money to buy an extra pair of shoes this time. Oh yeah, son. And then I'm gonna add like, I don't know, let's get some water bottles right there. Maybe I can mark them up to like a bigger price. So we've got wooden shoes right there. 
And then our other one is right there. We've got the water. So what's up with the water delivery? Do I have to like run around and find somebody to give the water to? Like they said that they wanted to have water delivered to various locations. But I don't see any kind of marking or anything like that. He's got a crate full of apples. Can I go in people's houses? Wrong item selected. Sell water to the household. Oh, I can actually like deliver it to their house like this, huh? Did that actually get me paid? Did that complete my quest? Oh, I've just got to deliver it to the houses over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, sell the water to the household. It looks like I'm only selling it for one, though. Why am I only selling it for one? Hmm. I don't know if this is an effective way to make money. I guess you would just do it for the quest, I suppose. So that you can get the payout of 25 or 100 or whatever it was. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got the free hundred right there. That sounds good, and that's going to help me move on up. Moving on up, moving on up, getting your water soon. All right, so we sold that guy water. Let's go over here, and I'm going to buy a couple more pedestals with the money we just made so that I can stock more things and sell mo faster. We'll grab, like, two of those. Two pedestals sounds good. I don't have to pay a furniture tax or anything like that, so that's good. If we can unlock the cook for 175, we can start doing some other stuff. I'm trying to move rapidly right now, but as you can see, there is a disparity between the number in this video and the number that is being shown on screen as far as the time allotted has gone. Because uh, the reason for that is because I'm making cuts and edits. So let's go ahead and we'll add another pedestal. Yep, a couple more pedestals right there. And then let's break out the chews. And so now that we got the chews, we will go with uh, chews. I need you to sell for, I think, 130. We'll go for 100. I'm going to push my luck here. I'm going to go for 145 and see what we get out. So set that right there. Set that right there. Yep, as many shoes as you can put on the shelf. At this point, I'm just trying to see what I can get away with selling. And then with the water, let's put that up to 10 and see if it sells at 10. All right, cool. Let's go back in over here. These water prices are extortionist. All I want to do is drink. Oh, that one's face backwards, though. Now I feel like I'm a bad shopkeep. Oh, no. My wooden shoes are orientated in the wrong direction. Now no one will shop here. They aren't laser lined properly or nothing. Good day, mademoiselle, and welcome to my shop. Would you like to buy some shoesies? Would you like to get water? Would you like to peruse all my goods? Please don't buy the fa. Oh, wow, they bought it at that price? Man, apparently I need to do better markups. I don't think I'm selling at a good enough margin right now. Oh, that lady just vanished. What? What wizardry was that? Why did they come in and disappear in a cloud of smoke? Oh, that was weird. I don't know how I feel about that. These guys are pulling some shenanigans right now. These dudes are pulling off some terrifying wizard action. Maybe it's just too expensive and that's why they won't buy it. I mean, somebody bought it. So that assumes that somebody has low enough standards to buy my things. Haha, -ha, we have another Taka. That lady looks like she has her head stitched on right now. That's not good. What happened? Was it an accident? Ooh, with the quality purchase right there. I also have more water bottles and I can sell those too. Put those up at like seven. There you go. Let's make a little bit of a profit here. Yup. Oh, that was all of my water bottles. That's right. I gave a whole bunch away to the townsfolk. I, I really wish that I could leave the shop. I kind of liked it in the first game a little bit better where the order place was in the back of the house. That way, like, you could make a quick run there if you knew it was going to be a while before anybody showed up. I think I've got a minute. I'm going to sprint over here and hopefully I don't get robbed. Hopefully I don't get robbed. Let me get my money. Uh, let me get the vault. Withdraw 100. And, yep, there we go. All right, back to the shop. <laughs> Don't steal from me! I promise, be honest. Be honest when you're inside my shop. Alright, I'm inside the shop. You can't steal from me. That's the rules of this universe. You can't steal from me if I'm inside my shop. 174 right there. Yep, order some more shoes. The display is empty. Yeah, that's that's the truth. The displays are they're empty because you bought all of my stuff. It's not my fault the demand is too high right now. I can't help that. We got one lady right here. As soon as she buys, or he... She, he, I'm not really too sure. Doesn't even matter. She's outright. Oh, there's another one right there. I can't make the run. Perhaps the prices are too high, and that's why they're they're vanishing. Come on, buy my stuff. I think that one just appeared from thin air. Ha ha! Someone with low enough standards to buy my bullshit. Hooray! Thank you for that. I need to order some objects here. Oh yeah, the objects are inside of here. 
Let's keep the shop open for a minute. I'll probably mark these down ever so slightly. What was everything else at? Like, I'm not trying to make, like, ridiculous sums of money, but I am trying to make some money. So that guy's at 42 right now. So let's take this up to... It seems like they don't like 42. I think 130 is probably the sweet spot, just like in uh, all the other games. Let's go right there. I think if I recall correctly, like 130% profit was like the sweet spot that all the customers liked, and that's what they wanted to buy at. Come on, keep buying my stuff. It's interesting that there's no like day and night time right now. Like the shop can just be open around the clock. That's pretty cool. We got ourselves like a Winco food things going on. I like Winco. I go to Winco all the time. Like, the Winco's a little scary where I live, though. I don't know if you've ever grocery shopped at 3 o'clock in the morning. The, but the people that grocery shop at 3 in the morning are scary, and they look like they might hurt you. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, I mean, I'm in there, too, so I assume that I look like that as well when I go in there with my parka with the fur and everything else. But, like, I'm just saying, people that, like, clothing, or I'm sorry, people that shop for, like, Wheaties at 4 in the morning, man, they look a little haggard. They look a little tired. Would you like to buy my shoes here? I've got a bottle on the shelf. I will sell my goods to anyone, be they troll an orc, a human, or an elf. You gotta see. You've gotta. You've gotta turn it into a Disney song about like narrating. You know, it's gotta talk about the things that are happening on the screen right now, so the children will understand what's taking place. And it's also gotta be upbeat to denote the fact that this is the beginning of the story, and that the hero is full of hope and wonder. And then later on, you get to the songs that are in like a minor key, and it's like raining, and there's like clouds and thunder and like a blizzard or something like that. That's just the way it works. I don't make those rules. So we got those at 38. There we go. Keep those all stocked up. We'll close the shop off after we make like 200, 300 bucks. It's going to cost a significant portion of our profits, though, to try and sell stuff to people. So that guy's coming up the hill right now. I think I could get away with ordering a few more water bottles. Let's get like 10 of the water bottles. I don't have enough money. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem that I've run aground with many times in my life. Many times in my life. So the order has arrived. We got a couple people coming up the hill right now. I think I've got time to book it over here and grab my order real fast. Let's grab the waters right there. We've got seven waters. As I'm on my way over here, we're going to sell these at, I don't know, four? That's only like one in profit, though. We got to like at least double up on water bottles. At least. Like, they're a low margin item, so I think people are more than likely to overpay for them. So there goes those shoes right there. Keep the water bottles going. We can't buy anything cool like healing potions just yet. But that was one of my favorite things about the first shopkeep is how your shop grew. And along the way, you ended up with, like, potions and things stacked up super high on all the shelves. Like, there was lots of fun stuff. As your shop got bigger, it was cool watching your, sta watching your stock expand. So on this side, uh, inside my tax control, I do owe some money right now. Yeah, pay my taxes real quick. Oof. That cost a fortune. Okay, withdraw the money. There we go. So we got 263. We got a bunch of people coming up in the shop right now, and I know they're going to try some thievery or something. So you know what? I got I to gotta be inside of here because the people in this town are untrustworthy. They are just not trustworthy. Let's buy, like, five more pairs of shoes. And as we sell stuff, I do like how you do have to periodically pay your taxes, though. That's pretty cool. Like, it's one of those little things that, like... It's a realism thing that, like, you do have to pay taxes in real life. Like, that is a thing. Like, that's one of the reasons why people think YouTubers make so much money is because you see the pre-tax value and stuff like that. You got to cut it down by, like, 30 to 40 percent. Like, because you can look at how much a YouTuber earns. Like, it's available on websites. Like, there are websites that track the CPMs month by month and whatnot compared to the amount of views that a, that a YouTuber does. But those are usually vastly overestimated or underestimated because CPM can vary wildly. Like, month to month, it can be in between, like, $1 per thousand views and, like, $6 per thousand views. You just never really know. And you can, you can kind of estimate based on the quarter. First quarter is always terrible. Uh, third quarter is kind of the same way. Second and fourth quarter tend to be good. Got one more person coming in right here. I do need to go pick up those shoes over there and sell them. I also need to buy some more pedestals and whatnot so that we can sell more things faster. And so it might be a good idea to get that done. I think we may want to use our money, though, to open up the shop as well. I mean, if we can open up the cookery place, that means we can sell some new objects. So that guy's got that going right there. Let's go ahead and check on our order over here. And I'll grab that. 
There we go. And with our shoes, while we're on our way over here, I'm going to put these at 130%. Let's make it 138%. I got to make a little bit more money off this stuff, man. We're just not moving fast enough for my, for my pleasure. And if people don't like it, well, they can get the hell on. I don't care about that. They can bounce on out. This is my shop, son. This is my shop. All right, so spiky-haired punk rock lady, would you like to buy a water bottle at exorbitant prices? Yay, you do. I love it when people buy things at exorbitant prices. Uh, I can also repair some of these shelves while we wait. Ooh, we got an achievement. Strength in the hammer. There is strength in the mallet. Strength in the mallet. There we go. We'll get these all fixed up. I assume that there's some skill that goes along with these that makes me, like, better at stuff. It looks like they put in kind of a Skyrim-style skill system. And I've heard that later on you can go adventure in, like, a cave or something like that, and you can find loot for free while fighting in the cave, kind of like Moonlighter-style, and bring it back to your shop if you want to. There you go. Buy my shoes. Buy them right now. I'm broken. I need your money. Ooh, we got a business increase. I wonder if your business level makes it so that you can sell things at a higher margin. Oh, he put the boots on, too, when he bought them. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that little detail last time. But I think they did that in the first game, too, where they would walk in and buy, like, a breastplate. And when they got the breastplate, they would uh, equip it on themselves as they walked out of the shop or whatever. Normally, it's considered to be in poor form to put on something before you've actually exited the shop. But, you know, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Perfect. Bought that purchase right there. And then there's two more people coming in. I'm going to see if I can withdraw my cash before he gets there. If I get robbed, I guess I get robbed. Uh, withdraw the $154. There we go. Got to get back in the shop before he crosses the threshold. Otherwise, he'll convert into a thief. Don't steal from me. Don't steal from me, bro. Don't steal from me. I got my eye on you, son. I got my eye on you. All right, so we've got a little bit of stock left to get rid of. But so far, things have gone pretty well. I, I'm fairly excited about Shop Up a Beep 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 Keep 2. I am. I liked the first game. I thought the first game was a lot of fun, and it was one of those games that you could dump a lot of hours into, just like managing the efficiency of your shop and making sure everything was like autonomous and ran on its own without your interaction. It was really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and close that on down for right now. We don't have anything else for these people. But right now, we want to look and see how much money we've made. So inside of our vault, we've got 86 right now. I would suggest that we pay our taxes real fast. So we owe nine right there, and we owe seven right there. Oh, that's right. The money has to be inside the vault. So we owe like 16. Go ahead and deposit just a little bit for right now. And then with our accountant, we will pay our taxes to keep our management levels good. Sir Poshington, what do you have for me right here? Uh, it looks like you've got quests. We've got water deliveries and cook something. I'm going to do the water delivery because it's an easy way to make a bunch of money. And so add like 10 water bottles. And then after you order the 10 water bottles, I actually don't order that right now. I wanted to upgrade, and we're going to get the cook. So there it is. The town cook has been upgraded. So this will unlock the inn feature for the cooking house and unique patrons arrive. Okay. I don't know what that exactly does for me, but let's do the water delivery real fast. We only get paid a dollar for each one of these, so there's not really much that I could do there. Uh, with the tavern... Let's go have a look at it. I don't know if I need to run the tavern by comparison to everything else, or... I don't know how that works, but I suppose we'll look at it in the next episode. This is Shop Up a Beep 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 Beep. Uh, this is a YouTuber early access alpha type deal that we're able to take a look at for one hour. The next episode is probably when we'll run out of time. And so, you know, whenever that happens is when it happens. I guess the demo is going to turn itself off at one hour. I will see you all later. If you want more information on this title, I got a link for you down below. Thank you for stopping on in. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games on the internet every single day for your perusal so that you can figure out what's hot and popping in the industry as of right now and so uh, other than that i don't think i have a whole lot more to say what you say oh that you will every way yep so like where is the management house it's right here so technically it should be on the corner down there all right well i'll see you guys in the next episode thank you for stopping on in hi do everybody